Hi, this is Catcom1 here, and if you're Big Mac Davis, or you're Lightning Bolt Forever, or you're Ultima Mantoid, or probably a number of others who I just don't have the names of as well memorized, then you probably don't need to see the title of this video to know what level this is. This is the Master Levels. Mephisto's Mausoleum, and all three of those names I mentioned at the beginning have the same verdict about this level. They hate it. And, well, I figured I'd do my own no save, no death walkthrough of this level, and do the best I can to get 100% with two exceptions, there is a Hell Knight at one point that sometimes fails to rise out of the floor. I'll point it out, but I'm not going to stop my run if that happens. And there's an icon of sin at the end, and if not, and if I don't have time to kill all his spawns, I'm not going to worry about doing so. Even Big Mac Davis, from what I saw in his video, just saved at the icon and just kept trying at, at the without re-recording the whole thing until all of its spawns were dead. But with that being said, here we go. I ha I'm not blind. I have practice this level and I'll give my strategy and try to give what I like and don't like and hopefully do it faster than Big Mac's time which was a little over 19 minutes. Let's go. Oh and if I have any failures I'm just they'll just stay in the video and I'll just waste out. Most of my fails are very close to the beginning of the level or at the very end though I know the best way way to mitigate the chance of failure at the very end which I'll explain so you start in the courtyard outside the mausoleum and here I like to run around and pick up all the ammunition but don't shoot anyone and my first go round. Do, however, press that golden pillow that looks different from the others, and that revenant we will need to kill. Don't pick up the berserk either, it can be a nice source of health later on. Okay, now, go inside the teleporter. I like to start by getting the plasma gun. And then get the rocket launcher. And heal. If I fail only, I fail heal. Most commonly. I didn't get my super shotgun. Once the, these revenants are down far enough in number, I actually just strafe around the circle and slowly pick them away. Come on! Okay. Revenant's dead, I got. I used two of the four health kits in this room. There's a health kit by each of the four teleporters. Now for these four, f 
for these teleport those those one on each side of the room I always like to enter the red section of it because it will always put me in the center facing north world And we must kill these Mancubi before we can get out of this mausoleum because this level does use some of the map 7 tags. And I don't like missing too many rockets here. Okay, two of the Mancubi are dead. Now, we do have to do some rocket conservation here. So, I like to kill the other two by just picking them off with smaller weapons. And I'm also exploring the quadrants here because I can get some ammo and the last med kit. So, this is the northeast quadrant. This is the Northwest Quadrant and has a blue key. This is the Southwest Quadrant. And there's a racket and some backpacks in each quadrant as well. And this is the Southeast Quadrant. The blinking arrow is pointing northward, so you're looking southward if you see it. When those two Mancubi, I just don't want to get caught in a crossfire with them both firing at the same time. If that happens, I'd better get, that's why I try not to stay in the middle for too long. Because that's where the crossfire would most likely hit. I can use chain gun as well. I just don't want to use more rockets or BFG because that's at the premium for later. <laughs> Hold him fire on from the from the right. One I think that Mancubus is down, yes. So with just one I'm going to pump shotgun it because there's no crossfires to avoid. Okay, as soon as the Mancubi are dead, you're going to see Hell Knights appear, at least six of them, in the center circle. And I get too greedy in trying to kill one Hell Knight right away, I really don't have time for that. So let's start the walkthrough again. In the beginning here, I go around the outside courtyard, collecting all the ammo but not firing at anything. Except I do use this golden off-color pillow from the other and that revenant I do fire at. I don't take the berserk because that can help me with health later on. There's only really two areas, the outer courtyard and the inside of the mausoleum. Now as soon as he's dead, I walk on the teleport pad, 
get the plasma gun first and the rocket launcher and the revenant that I can't get caught on the revenant. So for the out, this is the place I most commonly fail early, not those hell nights where I got greedy. I go around the outside courtyard, picking up all the ammo, but not firing anything. Except when I use this golden off-color pillow, I do have, have to fire that revenant. Don't take the berserk, it can be used for health later on. There's only two areas, the outside courtyard and the inside of the mausoleum. Only two major areas, I should say. Now you must go in this teleporter and then get to the right because that has... A, B, a plasma gun and then I also get the rocket launcher and I fall down into one of these holes and pick up off some but not all of the revenants with the rocket launcher just thin the horde out some because I need to conserve my rocket ammo I was unlucky that there was a revenant right on the teleporter there but I finish the rest off with the super shotgun once it's a manageable number. And I try to just do it while circling around the upper area of the in inner mausoleum. In each of the four quadrants, there's two backpacks, a rocket, and a med kit by the teleport. On these teleporters, I always like to enter the red half of them because no matter which one you enter, the red half of it always takes you back to the center platform facing northward. So that's a nice constant to have. And now there's four man to buy in each of these Baphomet brains. I like to kill the first two with the rocket launcher. And I like to hope that my rockets home in reasonably. Ah. Uh, that's one of them. I Finally. It's taking more rockets than average to bring down. Finally. With two of them dead, I like to conserve as many more rockets as I can. And either use a chain gun or pump shotgun on the remain on the other one. The other two. Now in each each quadrant, as I said, there's some things, some items to pick up, so it's both. Remember you're pointing northward, so this is the northwest. This is the northeast. This is the southeast. And this is the southwest. That blinking arrow you see is pointing northward, which since it's pointing at me means if I'm looking at it, I'm pointing southward. Oh. Trying to try to avoid the crossfires. 
you're less likely to get a crossfire when there's only two left and apples sit that aren't across from each other, but it can happen. So that's one I like to deal with with the pump shotgun. Now, as soon as they're all dead, I like to try and kill some of these Hell Knights before they even teleport. Then hope, then I circle for the remainder of them. And four Arachnid Trans teleported into each of the Baphomet brains. Provided I didn't kill the Arachnatron on the side that I shot into, then there would only be three. But you don't actually need to kill all four of the Arachnatrons before leaving the mausoleum. I do not like to leave any Hell Knights linger around though. Okay, the, the arachnotrons that I worry about are the ones on the east and west side. I don't worry about the ones on the north and south side at the moment other than dodging them. I don't have a lot of rockets, that's why I'm using chain gun here. Let me see. Yup. I don't tear one on the, the west side. And I don't tear one on the east side. So again, in each, in each quadrant, there are a few things to get I mean, in the opened area. And I fell on the same side twice in a row. Northwest has both the blue key and now also the red key. And you can't be too low on health because that does hurt and you don't have a rod suit at the moment. I don't worry about exploring. I only explore the if I'm able to the northwest and the southeast because the southeast has a red door that lets me out. And now there's going to be a ton of revenant in this outdoor courtyard because we have bought the ones that the level started with and new ones that are teleported in. I do some plasma to thin them out and weaken them. Then I use when I'm reasonably comfortable with them, I start just running around with either the super shotgun or chain gun. And again, keep circle strafing. Oh 
unless you're comfortable in a couple conditions, sometimes I'm comfortable toning and I will and I still avoid the fireballs. Now sometimes the revenant makes it into the mausoleum. And I got unlucky to get hit now. But Thankfully, I didn't use that Berserk pack yet, and that can give me an instant recharge of my health. And at this point, there is a, a radiation suit available, so... I explore the sides I haven't explored already, which I'll... I've already explored the northwest and southeast. So I'll explore the northeast. And southwest with my radiation suit. Then go back out the red door and the south southeast. Yes. He's on the northwest. The red door out is on the southeast. And then use this red door. And circle the room and get out again. Because, and I like this effect, a revenant rises out of the tomb in the middle of the room. And then I flip this switch. So it's this way. Another effect I like is you pick up this blue Almo and you get to see the staircase rise. Yes, the textures are misaligned, but it's still neat to watch it rise. At the top of the staircase, when I'm lucky, that Hell Knight is there. Sometimes the Hell Knight is not there and you can't get 100% kills if it isn't. When you walk in to get this, this super child, a revenant will come out. So don't go too fast. And we can now take out the Arachnatron just with our shotgun and shoot directly across from it about four rockets should take out the other Arachnatron. That's why I didn't worry about taking out the North and South Arachnatrons when I was in the mausoleum earlier. When you fall down here, you will get a blue key. The blue key will lower, but there will also be Barons of Hell. Four barons of hell. And whatever you do, don't use more rockets. Already going to a very close to a bare minimum in rockets here. If you spend all, if you spend too much of your rockets and plasma, you are almost as good as dead at the end of this level. And by the way, those barons, notice that both sides of blood are open now. The bare ones came out of the second side to open. Now go back out into the outside.
and the gamble going to see two bad ones behind the blue door mouth by the two blue torches and don't use rockets against them because I really should have saved a couple more rockets of plasma at some bio point to be safe as it is You have a mega sphere and you have a box of rockets in one side and an energy cell in the other side. Both count as two secrets of peace for whatever reason. And your final secret is right aboard this tomb and where well, you can see the faint hint of the medikit running through the grate have your rocket launcher selected and get the invulnerability sphere and now run go down this lift and kill these barons as quickly as you can and hope not to get teleflagged because if you get teleflagged, even when you're invulnerable, you die. That's the first time I was unlucky enough to get teleflagged. I had an earlier successful run, but it was more than 19 minutes. Oh, let's start this level again. Run around this outdoor area and, well, I'm not going to take any damage at the south like that. Run around this outdoor area and collect all the weapons and ammo, but don't fire out the outside courtyard. Press on this golden pillow that's different from the brown dingier ones. Don't take the bazook, it can be used for health later. The revenant and that pillow you have to kill and as soon as you do, get in get in the teleporter. Take out some of the revenants from lower ground. Ah, oh, my rocket seemed to want to weaken all the revenants, but not kill any of them, and that's a problem. Okay, you start in the outdoor area, grab all the ammo, but don't fire at anything. So basically the outdoor courtyard and the inside of the mausoleum. Tap this gold off color pillow and this this revenant you do want to fire at. Don't grab the bazook, it can be used later for health. Now when you get in here, get the plasma gun and I need to get the rocket launcher as well. I'll see if the plasma gun can do enough. And I can do some crowd thinning with the plasma gun. Yeah, it's preferable to get the rocket launcher as well too, which is See, this is one of the pouts I die in a lot. Thankfully, it's early in the level. 
When you start, go around this outdoor area, outdoor courtyard area, grab all the ammo, but don't fire at any of the revenants. I don't, I don't bother firing at any of the revenants. Do fire at the revenant that comes down after you press that golden off color pillow. The only main areas in this level are this outdoor courtyard and the inside of the mausoleum. Those are the only major areas. And that teleport of the revenant was on takes you to the inside of the mausoleum. I use rockets and plasma to get rid of some of the revenants. Then use my super shotgun when it's more manageable. Or the chain gun you can use as well. They're all congregating in the center. That This is one of the toughest pouts, even though you won't get hit if you keep circle strafing. See, I don't have anything to dodge that. So I must go on to the teleporter. Okay, when you... When I go in the teleporter, I always like to go on the red half of the teleporter because no matter which teleporter you end up going in, you happen to be going in, you will come out facing north in the middle of the room. For these man you buy. You must kill all four before you leave the mausoleum. Because this level uses some of the map 7 tags. I like to with, with my rocket launcher kill. Two that are not across from each other. Like here for instance I'm killing the southern one. And the... Uh, Eastern one. And because we got to be careful with our rockets for the remaining two, I'd like to pick off with the chain gun or the pump shotgun, making sure primarily not to get caught in the crossfire. Which is most likely to happen if you're standing on the center platform. See, like that, I was too close to the center platform for too long. That arrow's pointing north, so if you're facing the arrow, you're looking south. These quadrants have backpacks and rockets in them and medikits. The Northwest Quadrant has the blue key, which we can't get yet. We've done the Northwest and Northeast Quadrants. Now we're doing the Southeast Quadrant. And now the Southwest Quadrant, which we already picked everything from. Now I just need to remember which sides still had a live mancubus on them. These two.
Keep fire until he falls. I think he fell. And so did he fall. Now heal I like to... Sometimes eliminate... I can eliminate one or two Hell Knights before they even get into the teleporter. But I can't be firing for too long because of how those lifts only, I only lowered for a short time. Those six to eight Hell Knights. There's also four Arachnatrons that are inside each of the Baphomet heads. Previously there was a Mancubus in each of the Baphomet heads. Baphomet heads. And I happen to fall on the side that has the red key and two boxes of rockets. Now I'd like to get rid of the Hell Knight first. Usually circle strafing works once the numbers are down. Sometimes cutting through the mist, the center is better. Especially when those two that keep staying near each other. Okay, these arachnatrons, you don't have to kill all four of them to leave the mausoleum. I like to kill the, just kill the ones in the east and west side. That's one down. And that's the other one down. Now the red doll. The red doll is on just gathering my position. The red door is the southeast side. Both keys are on the north e the northwest side. Go out the red doll and, oh, uh, very unlucky when you have revenants all near you, but I'm going to take this berserk to heal up. And then for the revenants, I'm going to use my plasma. There's both the ones in the outdoor courtyard that the level started with and more that teleport in. Again, I just circle strafe this area is wide open. The revenants aren't bad as long as you stay on the move and don't get stuck by one. Which is most likely to happen if you turn a blind corner and you're in exactly the wrong spot. Usually one or two revenants can make it into the inside. I hear one, so that happened. And now on the same side, the southeast side as the red door. We can now acquire a radiation suit and explore a little more on the damaging floor. So that was the southeast side. This is the northwest side. 
This is the northeast side. And this is the southwest side. And now once we've explored with our rat suit, go back out the red door on the southeast side. And come up to this, another red door here. Simply circle straight around the room once and get out again because the Revenant rises out of this tomb, which is an effect I like, by the way. Kill that Revenant, then flip the switch inside. That gives you access to this Mega Ammo, and another effect I like is when you pick up the Mega Ammo, that staircase springs up, which, it's misaligned, but it's kind of cool watching it all rise rapidly. Now, if we're lucky, a Hell Knight will be behind this door. It is. Sometimes it isn't, and if it's not, you cannot get a 100% kill. Now, as you approach the supercharge, another Revenant will open up. Believe it or not, this is the last Revenant in the level. And here's why we didn't kill the Arachnatrons and the north and south because we can actually kill them from here level with them Trying to judge if the old if that one must be dead, he's not firing at me. Now go web the arrow when you fall out the arrow it reveals the it lowers the platform with the blue key, but we also have four barons of hell. And we really don't we really have don't have any extra strong ammo more than we need. So I'm just going to have to strafe one type and super shotgun all four of them. Yes, to be safe, you want a minimum of 16 to 18 rockets at this point. You might not need all of them, but I don't like to go below that. If you have something like no what if you have, for instance, no rockets and no plasma left at this point, you're basically as good as dead as far as the end the end is concerned. Now just for demonstration, we get the blue key here. Those barons notice how both sides of the blood are open. Those barons came out of the second side to open up, but there's nothing for us to take in those areas, so just go back out the red door and find the blue door that is marked by the two blue torches, and again we're going to use either the SSG or the chain gun. Pick whatever you like, and these two barons of hell. Now there's a there's a mega sphere. I don't lower this lift yet. There's a secret on both sides. Actually, it's marked as two secrets. Each one is marked as two secrets for whatever reason. But there's five more rockets and 20 cells. So that's four of the five secrets, even though it's really only two secrets, and they're, they're right across from one another. Now, this lift lets you get on top of the tomb we killed the Revenant on. And see that meta kit, that stim pack, run towards it through the hollow grate, get this invulnerability, and then just get ready. Run! As soon as you've got the invulnerability, run! 
Lower that lift. Kill the two balance. And then fire into the brain. Just keep firing into the brain. Ugh. See? This is... This end is horrible because I did... I could get teleflagged at any moment here. Yeah. You don't want to run out of rockets. Apparently even 18 isn't safe. 